this is Sheila and today I would like to share with you how to make a succulent wreath because the holidays are fast approaching. First we will start with this huge 18 inch form. I'll tell you in a bit where I got this nice lovely burlap wreath form and you will also be hearing some very very useful tips as I go. And imagine that this is a clock face, so we're starting at the 6 o'clock position so that it is going to be the center of our wreath. And since I'm using my Echeveria Imbricata as my center, I had to open a big hole onto my wreath form. So you can easily poke holes into this wreath form, so you can use pretty much whatever is handy. So like here, I'm actually using the handle of my brush and I'm able to poke hole into it. And as you go, you will find that you'll be needing greening pins to hold them in place. Some would actually choose to use glue gun, but I would rather use greening pins instead. Because these greening pins are actually super duper easy to work with anyway, so I would rather use them. And throughout this video, I'll be telling you where to purchase all of the items that I've used in this project. And if you have questions, feel free to comment it down below. If you may have noticed as well, it is really easy to poke holes into this burlap and it's easy to work with and the moss that's inside is easy to push around and it's because I actually soaked this wreath form for about three hours in water so that's important you have to soak the wreath form in water for about three hours and they are going to be super duper easy to work with after so as we go we will be working with all of these textures colors lovely lovely shapes too like this tall crashula mini pine tree that i have this will give such an interesting height and character to this succulent arrangement as you will see here i'm actually putting each of them in pairs to give it like a real good aesthetic balance see how exciting this is we've only put five succulents and it's already looking really pretty and let me just show you see how the pin does a great job of keeping it in place now I'm looking for the nine o'clock position again as I've said to give it a good proportion but it's totally totally up to you believe me you can try whatever you want it's just going to be fun either way you can just throw in everything in there or you could be as imaginative and as creative it's totally up to you just have fun with it and in a bit I'll also show you and tell you a little secret too because there's another reason why I would do that um, but I'll tell you in a bit now we're here at the three o'clock position so we're doing the same thing so I'll be using the same succulent the same kind and I'm using my Echeveria Imbricata again to match it and then for variants of color I'm adding in a reddish brown Echeveria and if this is not an Echeveria, please feel free to tell me I'm not a pro at this with naming them, but as far as I know, that's an Echeveria. What do you think Libby? So Libby is one of my favorite subscribers. She has her own YouTube channel, which is Libby's Little Garden. I'm pretty sure she's going to be watching this. So tell me what you think Libby, put your comment down below. And now see like how that's one and two so if you decide to stop here you have a pretty product already as i've said just keep those creative juices flowing and again i'm matching the colors with the other side so i'm using my reddish raptoveria by the way since this succulent arrangement has wet moss inside we won't be watering it for about two to four weeks depending on the season and if you want to watch other succulent wreath arrangement please tap on the white bar on the upper left hand side of this screen and you'll find one of my favorite youtube channels which is laura's garden answer because that's where i found most of my inspirations 
Okay, so since this baby has roots on her, I had to cut through the burlap to give it more room. I had to make sure that her roots are not going to be damaged in the process. So far so good. I can tell that this is going to be a lovely project. So after I've established my 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock position, I'm going back to my 6 o'clock position, which is the center of the wreath, and I'm going to be working outwards. And if you feel like you don't have enough cuttings in your succulent garden, please tap on the bar on the right hand side of the screen and you'll find my video on how to gather succulent specimens without having to break the bank. And if you are totally new to the world of succulents, I have a very helpful tip for beginners. You just need to simply tap on the small letter I or the white bar on the upper right hand side of your screen and it will take you to that video. If you may have noticed around this part, I'm just connecting the 6 o'clock group and my 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock group with single succulents side by side and this is why I'm doing this pattern. So at this point you can stop here and if you decide to stop here it's still going to be pretty see and that's the reason why I would start at 6 o'clock position and then go to the 3 o'clock position and then head over to the 9 o'clock position so if you're out of succulent that's fine you don't have to use all of your succ succulents in your collection and you still end up with a nice succulent arrangement and if you may have also noticed I would space out my lovelies instead of crowding them together and this is because I'm using just about two to three inch succulent cuttings so spacing them out this way allows some room for growth because when you crowd them together they would adjust and decide that they need to grow slower than when there is more space between them so if you want them to grow into this wreath you need to allow more room for growth and if you want to see a showcase of about 70 cuttings please click on the white bar on the upper right hand side of your screen or the card above and if you wish to watch a breathtaking assortment of succulents please tap on this awe-inspiring succulent unboxing so here you go let me just show you how pretty this turned out I actually decided to add my fern looking succulent and by the way the succulent wreath form that I used in this project was handcrafted by yours truly and I've also created a video on how I made this succulent wreath so look, please do look out for it and as promised the materials that I used for this project are 70 of these assorted cuttings a nail to poke holes with my brush with the pointed tip and about two boxes of greening pins I'm also excited to hear how your succulent arrangement turned out so please tag me on Instagram at succulentfame and lastly please subscribe and share this video with your friends and today as always before I go here's something to think about in an argument keeping your silence does not always mean that the other person is right sometimes it also means that you just know better so instead of getting into a heated argument, remember this quote. Thank you. This is Sheila again for Succulent Fame.